Just looking forward to the start of Big 12 action. Uh, it's always kind of a, you know, you have Christmas break and then you come back and start all over again. So uh, it's an exciting time. I think everybody's, you know, kind of, your ears get perked up a little bit and you get a little bit excited about this thing starting. Finished the first half of the season 9-1, and one, uh, but pretty good energy with the new offense and new, you know, new structure of the team. What did you like out of the first half of the season? I, offense definitely is is one thing that I've been pretty pleased with. I mean, we're scoring the ball at a at a higher rate, uh, shooting the three better. Although I, I still think we can shoot it even better. Um, and you know, realistically, I, I thought we would really struggle in some areas, and one of them was rebounding. And aside from the game that we lost, uh, I thought we were really pretty good on the boards this year. Um, I thought we really finished well against Florida State. Uh, that was the the game that I thought would be interesting to see how we sort of bounce back from a disappointing loss at Tennessee. And I, I thought that was a little bit of a character test for our team and they passed with flying colors. How do you take that momentum, especially for a game like Florida State had a lot of fan support. It was an exciting game, top 15 matchup. How do you take that momentum into now Oklahoma on the road? Well, it's not hard to get excited to play Oklahoma, first of all. It's a, it's a rival game for us. and. It's the first Big 12 game, and the thing that's always interesting about Big 12 play is when you start, everybody wipes the slate clean. I mean, everybody's everybody's talking about winning a conference championship. Everybody's zero and zero, so you, know, you have a new energy and uh, an, a little bit of a new anxiety too. But it, when the ball gets tipped, it goes away. Uh, but I think we all understand it's a it's a long grind. It's just it's one game, and if our team does a good, really good job this year of taking one game at a time, then. I'm excited about what I what our potential is going to be. Everybody knows the story. We haven't won there since 2010. Really? What has to change? <laughs> what has to change for uh, for us to pick up that that road win at Oklahoma, a tough place to play? Um, I think we have to do the little things. I think that's one of those games where your your detail can get lost in the excitement of the rivalry, um, you know, they always play well against us. Uh, we always play well at home against them. So it's just kind of one of those games where you, you know, you really have to train your mind uh, to focus on the details, do the little things, communicate better. Uh, so it's a good chance for us to go get on the road quickly. And that's the one thing that we obviously didn't respond very well to at Tennessee. I thought that was a great, great environment, as Oklahoma will be. And we didn't handle that very well. So our communication lines have to be really elevated. And yeah, yeah, you have to connect better on the road, period. Uh, this is just one of eight more that we have where we play in someone else's environment. And we, our team has to learn how to connect better on the road. Get Joyner back this week. Uh, first time she's played in about nine months. What are you expecting out of, out of the return of Joyner? Well, she played a little bit this summer, so I thought the USA experience was probably good for her and kept her moving along as the summer went along. But, um, you know, we've stayed in touch. It's been one of those things where um, it's adversity and it's a life lesson, not only for that young lady, but for all of us involved. Um, and the thing that I've really appreciated about her, and I think she would tell you this, she's very faith-based. and. You know, when you have that to fall back on, I think that you can get up every day and realize that well, the world's not coming to an end and there's a purpose for all of this. And I, I think she's handled it really well. She's handled um, the day by day of what am I going to do today? And she, you know, she'll, she'd probably tell you she got a job. She got in the real world a little bit and, and she's anxious and excited about being back. And we welcomed her yesterday. It seemed like normal. It seemed like she was just right back here again with no not even a blink of an eye. Usually around this time, people try to shorten their their uh, their roster and their lineup. But with her coming back, does this give you a chance to kind of keep everyone fresh? Or how will you kind of handle that, uh, her return as far as minutes? Well, I think she gives us depth. And at times, you know, we've we've been concerned about the depth, of, depth at the forward position. But, I, you know, it, it's one of those situations where you can't, you can't hide her talent. I mean, you know, there's no question that Joyner is a very talented young lady, but there is a learning curve that comes with just stepping in, and there's a comfort that she's going to have to find with our team, and our team is going to find with her, and it will come. But it's not going to come tomorrow at Oklahoma, and 
we need to have realistic expectations of when she finds that comfort. It could be in a week, it could be in a month, but it, it'll happen. And when it happens and she becomes more comfortable, then our team becomes stronger. And I think we've all talked about how winning championships is, is the goal here at Texas. And she gives us a better opportunity uh, as, a, as a comfortable joiner. But I also know that Jordan Hosey gives us an opportunity. Amide gives us an opportunity. What it does is it adds another person in the paint that can demand um, maybe a double team that, that can make good plays, make good decisions. And so it just gives us another body, which, as you know, and we all know, when you get down to the grind of Big 12 season, bodies become really important. And talented bodies become important. So I, I think it just, when you talk about the rotation getting smaller, I, I don't think we have a team where I have to limit our rotation. They're, they're, they limit themselves when it comes to rotations.